Hi, this is John Hand with the Pulsing Cinema Movie of the Day. It is The Dark Ride, a.k.a. Sport Killer, a.k.a. Killer's Delight. Uh, it was released on DVD by Code Red a few years ago as Killer's Delight, but I think it was released on VHS as The Dark Ride. A serial killer film. Uh, a serial killer film about a serial killer who's got a cool looking truck, uh, van, rather. No, this is a cool. This is a cool '70s van. He's got a '70s van, and he's stalking uh, the San Francisco area. Uh, serial killer played by John Carlin, a serial killer with mommy issues. Uh, a, the detective, uh, a, a hard-boiled detective, uh, catches on to these murders and begins to investigate. Uh, and they pinpoint this guy. And it becomes a cat and mouse between the, the killer and this detective, and he and he sets up a decoy, and uh, this decoy woman, uh, you know, gets put in a very uncomfortable position, and then uh, there becomes the the confrontation. At the end, the detective uh, uh, has to make a very difficult decision uh, about uh, what's uh, right and wrong, and what is going to be justice in this case with this serial killer who's. Uh, in, who in his lies is likely going to be uh, let off by the by the uh, by the by the justice system because he's crazy, right? So that's it. I mean, a '70s serial killer film, according to the uh, some of the stuff I've I've read about it, and then the the director commentary and some of the fee special features on the uh, on the DVD. The DVD has was an early Code Red DVD and has really extensive special features and uh, the uh, video quality looks beautiful. It has this kind of lilting '70s quality. The colors are kind of pastelish at times, but very you know bright and beautiful. And the film has that kind of you know uh, Californian look. And they've it's obvious they you know this is. This is not like some kind of Midwestern or, you know, like Texas, you know, a little low budget, uh, you know, horror movie where they ca where they, the people that they cast are just, you know, who, whoever the director's friends are. No, th this is obviously, you know, a, a Los Angeles production and they've, they've cast the beautiful people and it's very, the victims are very photogenic and what have you. And, and so it, the film looks good. Everybody in the film looks good and the film looks good. But it kind of feels like a TV movie overall. It just feels like a kind of a 70s time capsule TV movie uh, feel to it. Um, and the, I, was, I, I, I was sidetracked uh, earlier. I was going to say the, the director, uh, or something I've read about it, indicates that this film uh, was based on some of the Ted Bundy murders uh, and then also some of the uh, Hillside Strangler murders. Uh, but it was, but apparently when they started making this film, Ted Bunny had not been caught, which doesn't make sense because I think Ted Bunny started to get, you know, around 75, 76, um, they started to uncover, you know, some of his assaults and he began to have legal battles around, and The Dark Ride or, or Killer's Delight was released around 1978. So I think maybe they were in production for a few years, or I, I'm not sure. Uh, the, but according to some of what I've read, when they started this film, the film was based on some of the murders, the unsolved murders, uh, which were later attributed to Ted Bundy and, and the Hillside Strangler. Uh, John Carlin is the serial killer in the film, plays the, the, the killer in the van. Uh, I guess that's where the Dark Ride title came from. And, uh, you know, uh, John Carlin from Dark Shadows uh, and uh, the, the Daughters uh, of Evil, uh, uh, the, uh, that uh, Harry Kumo, uh, uh vampire film, uh, Daughters of Darkness, sorry. <laughs> I was stretching. I knew it was Daughters of Satan, the Darkness, the Devil. So <laughs> <laughs> Man, that, that was a cool movie, and it really uh, showed off the acting chops of John Carlin, you know, because he was kind of in the back seat. I don't know a lot about Dark Dark Shadows, I, you know, I've seen the the TV movies, and he's kind of in the back seat there. But he really, you know, later on, he did Cagney and Lacey, where he was a lovable, uh, you know, uh, police officer. 
But he really does have kind of a deviance and a sickness to him, and, and he can play these very dark characters. He's perfect for a kind of a sick, demented serial killer with these mommy issues, always preoccupied with it. And, and uh, he, so it, it works well. He works in the film. You know, he's doing that kind of da Daughters of Darkness thing. I, I think it might have already been a serial killer in Daughters of Darkness, you know. Who the hell knows? He was he was that was that film was a weird movie and he and John Carlin was perfect for it. The film, yeah, it comes off like a '70s TV movie. It looks really nice. The colors look really nice, and the the the, the day for night stuff has this kind of greenish, cool cast to it. It's like the cover art for uh, the, the the Code Red DVD Killers to like that kind of greenish blue color, which is kind of weird and cool. But yeah, I mean, it, it's kind of unremarkable TV movie. There is some uh, sex in it. There is some uh, nudity, uh, and it and it was almost like because the, the film at times kind of drags and slows down because the second half of the film is this whole, you know, dragnet that this uh, police detective and it, then it becomes like a, a police detective TV movie. It just kind of runs off the rails and you know in the beginning it was like kind of a cool serial killer movie and then it kind of transforms into this really kind of generic you know let's catch the killer type thing and it's like what the fuck. Uh, but there are some shots that I think they just like. Uh, I don't think John Carlin on the commentary track he says he didn't shoot the scenes. These like these close-ups where the killer is like ogling the breasts in his van, and it's just like. And there's this close-up of of John Carlin, uh, this obsession. You see the, and it's just kind of like okay, it's just dropped in. You know, uh, not not a lot uh, really going on with that. So otherwise, you know, it, you know, it's it's a pretty clean. Uh, PG, you know, 13 rated, uh, you know, TV movie level violence and, and, and what have you. But yeah, uh, you know, a good film, definitely worth tracking down on DVD. And if you're a, you know, a serial killer completist, if you're a 70s film serial killer, John Carlin uh, completist, then yeah, this is a movie uh, worth checking out.